Ladies and gentlemen on this Red Game Theatrecom video, we have a bit of news concerning the Xbox One's performance with a couple of upcoming games. That would be The Witcher 3, as well as Scara The Blade Remains. So, some of this is to do with the June SDK. In case you're unfamiliar with the June SDK update, most of you will be. I'll quickly go into that. That is, of course, the update which allows developers to tap into the additional GPU reserves which were beforehand reserved, well obviously, specifically just for Connect. So that was an extra 10% available for developers in effect if they don't want to be using Connect for the machine. So anyway, uh, well let's start out with The Witcher 3. So anyway, they basically stated um, and asked whether the ES RAM and the June SDK were going to be an issue with the system, achieving 1080p. And they stated that I would say that targeting full HD with complex rendering pipeline is a challenge in terms of ESRAM usage, especially when this pipeline is built on deferred rendering. We are taking advantage of the ESRAM for the Xbox One and we know we have to fit into these limits and they're constantly optimizing the usage. So while obviously we're seeing the June SDK making a difference, um, they are still having these problems with the ESRAM, but... For Scara, they've said, and I quote, the first test we made with the June SDK, so our initial impressions were extremely happy with the extra 10% uh, GPU. And in fact, they said the new SDK gives more resources to developers, and that's always a good thing. We still haven't decided where to use that extra 10%, but it's probably not in effects. We are creating our effects to run similarly on both systems, no matter if it's PC or a console. But we expect great things for our LOD systems, that's level of detail, just for your FYI, with a more polished view of the characters and scenarios, even from the far. And there we have it, guys. It's pretty much what we've been saying for a while on the channel, and a lot of tech um, clued up people have been murmuring on forums anyway. The bottom line is, the extra GPU reserves are going to help. Unfortunately, there are still limitations with the Xbox One's ESRAM. You can get around them using certain shading techniques, but there's still a little bit of a pain in the butt. Ultimately, however, the Xbox One is certainly benefiting from the June SDK update. It's just not going to make the two systems, either the PS4 or the Xbox One, to achieve exact parity. It's just impossible because there's too much of a GPU deficit. On the other hand, as I've mentioned a billion times over by now, I'm not particularly impressed with the PS4's specifications anyway, and the PS4 is also having its own issues with resolution and frame rate and level of detail and even memory as well. Um... It's pretty known by now, developers are already starting to state, well, the 5 gigabytes, remember the PS4's memory um, is kind of cordoned off, just like the Xbox One, and developers are already saying, well, we're going to start running out of memory quite soon, and Sony are remaining pretty tight-lipped of just if it's going to be freeing up additional resources or what, anyway. Oh, and I might as well throw it into this video, just for the sake of uh, completeness. A couple of people have asked me when my PS4 rant will be coming. Obviously, I did the Xbox One. I am working on it. I've got all the script sorted out. Um, it's pretty... I find it quite humorous anyway. And um, obviously, I've done the Xbox One, one uh, video, and it was pretty cool. You guys seem to like it, so I've done up one for the PS4. It's all pretty much good to go, um, as it turns out. I just need to do the drawings and stuff. Unfortunately, I've got a lot of stuff on at the moment. Um what with reviews and uh, benchmarking. There's a couple of benchmarks that I'm having to run in the background. Obviously, the competition's just over with the graphics card, which was pretty cool, but that took a lot of my work as well with the promotional side of things and so on. And I've got a early copy of The Last of Us Remastered winging its way to me. So that means, obviously, I'm going to have to be doing some be uh, benchmarking and uh, graphics comparisons and so on with The Last of Us. And I've got some other bits and pieces, but the script's done. So hopefully by the end of this weekend, you guys are going to have the PS4 one. And yes, there will also be a Wii U and PC one. Although I have to kind of uh, take all the topics and add a little bit of humor to them and so on. So it's going to take a bit of time for me to kind of uh, write those out. I've got a good idea about the PC one, 
uh, the Wii U unsure about as yet, but I've got a couple of ideas. Anyway, I think that's me off the beaten path, so I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care, and bye for now.